what's up everyone glock 9 here and welcome back to nightmare 2 it is the morning of day 33 it's going to be another trader quest day today we're going to see if we can rip through all of the tier 2 quests for trader hugh we also need to get our reward for the restore power job we did last night but he ain't open yet so while we wait for him to open let's find some iron to mine You know, one thing I mentioned in the last episode was that he w he only had one restore power job left, but I forgot all of his jobs reset um, every day, so he should have all new jobs for us. Level 2 pistol, I'll take that and sell it right back to him with all this other shit. Oh, hold on. Eat this butt first. Don't look at me like that while I eat the butt, Hugh. It's creepy. Uh, let's do... Let's do this clear zombies, it's the furthest one away. So we'll knock that out first, and then we'll have some closer ones that we can bang out, and uh, we'll just keep doing them until we unlock tier three jobs. Oh look, it's the neighbor to the tier one house. That must suck, living in a tier one house, having to look out at your neighbor in their fancy fucking tier two house. And you just gotta think about how if you would've worked just a little harder, maybe you could've had a tier two house. Anyway, what do we gotta do? We just gotta kill zombies here, so that's pretty easy. Bop! Bop! One down. Can we get a coffee? Nope. Mega Crush? Oh, that's good. Way more rare than coffee, so I'll take that. Even though we don't really use Mega Crushes during the Horde, we just stand in one place. Whatever. It's good. They're good to have, especially if we decide to do uh, tier 5 POI, like the fucking Dishong Tower. You know, drink a couple of Mega Crushes. Oh, shit. Come on, dude. Die. All right, we got him. My, uh, my sensitivity is crazy right now. I just finished playing the uh, Modern Warfare 2 beta, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little twitchy right now. <laughs> It's actually pretty not pretty not bad, is what I'll say about the Modern Warfare 2 beta. I enjoyed it. I'm still going to get the game and play it. Um, hey, stop beating on the car. The footsteps are out of control. Damn it, you little bastard. Uh, the footsteps are so fucking loud in that game. I think they did that to compensate for the fact that they took red dot, the little red dots off the minimap when you fire your gun. So the only way to see red dots on the minimap is if you activate a UAV. And that's not always going to be the case because some people might have a perk that allows them to stay hidden when someone pulls a UAV. So it's pretty interesting, but I'll stop talking about it because most of you probably don't give a fuck. But it's not bad, in my opinion. Uh, that's a weapons flashlight mod. Some trash. Oh, let's check it. All right. Actually, take that stuff. Uh, food. Eat the cat food. Cat food for breakfast. Very nutritious. Most important meal of the day. And my coffee. There you go. Wash down that cat food. And now I just got to try and not vomit for the rest of the day. Here we go. Oh, watch your step, Mo, you clumsy bastard. No wonder why your knees are so fucked up. Clear. Crawler in here. Dead. Alright, I don't care about the bathroom. Whoop. That's next door. Where are you going? I should have just hit him again with the club. Clear. Uh, oh, here we go. We got to go up into the attic. Close that door. Nothing there. Got a zombie in here. Yep. Dead. Oh, look at this. Huh. That's cool. 
I guess there was uh, supposed to be a zombie in there, but he spawned in the uh, closet instead. All right, let's get up here. There's a zombie, or is that a dog? Nothing over there. That sounds like a cop. It is. Fuck. Oh boy. No oh, shit. All right. I'm going down then. Come on, get out of my way. There he goes. Oh, she's still alive. Look at you, trooper. Come on down here. Oh. What the fuck? Where are you coming from? All right. I think we're good. Let's get up here. Grab the main stash and get back to Hughes. Eat the ravioli, scrap these bolts. Weaving. Oh, this is, uh, you can make, we can make bandages out of plant fiber now. But I'll never do that because I've got so much first aid at home. More than I'll ever need, I'm sure. More meat at home than I'll probably ever need also, but that's not going to stop me from mowing down a deer with my trusty hunting rifle. My trusty full-auto assault rifle that I use for hunting. Ooh, two eye candies. Taking both of them, and that's it. What you got for me this time, Hugh? Level 3 spear? Sure. Sell that right back to him with this other stuff. Okay, let's do another one. Hmm, we'll do this fetch. It's the closest one. All right, looks like the supplies are upstairs. Oh no, they're on this level. Nothing there, they're right in here. Look how fucking easy that was. Oh, I'm not leaving yet. I'm gonna grab the stash out of here. Oh! That's right, I forgot the floor gives out right there. And we woke up some zombies down there. Take them out. Where are you going, lady? Oh, you're not dead. Now you are. Yep. Crawler up in the closet. What are you doing up there, you silly goose? Come on. Get out of there. As soon as I walk in there, he's gonna hit me. Son of a bitch. Fine, then. Ah, there we go. Good on that stuff. Um, where is the main stash? Is it upstairs or is it down here? I always forget. Let's go down here first. That's right. The main loot isn't down here. There is a hidden stash, though. Let's pop it open. Not bad. Take all that shit. All right, let's get upstairs, then. Fort Bites. All right. Probably just sell those. Here we go. Come on, fall down the steps. There you go. Is there a dog up here? There are zombies though, at least, right? Hmm, guess not. Crack a book, give me the drone schematic. Uh, well. Double pocket mods, that's a good one. If I didn't already have a full backpack. Oh, we, uh... Maxed out that, um, those books, uh, needle and thread. We can craft military clothing now. Too bad I've sold all the military fiber <laughs> that I've found. Yeah, it couldn't get me there. Oh, there are zombies down below. There's a little, there's a little trap room here. That's what it is.
All right, what do you got? Well, I guess you ain't Sledgehammer. So I don't need the bandages, so I'm gonna take the sledge and sell it right back to him along with this stuff here. Oh shit, I forgot to use an eye candy. I meant to do that with the main stash. Alright, we'll do it this time. Um... Wait, that special job is the... That's to Jens, right? He's trying to give me that again because I didn't take the tier 2 job to Jens. I cancelled it. That's it. It's not- we're not at tier three yet. Alright, just another clear the area. Very simple. I'm gonna grab the cement. Oh! Son of a bitch! Damn it! <laughs> Get out of here, cobblestone. I don't need you. Trash in the wall. Bunch of bullshit. Let's pop this open. I'm always gonna go for a crate. Scrap the nails. I'll take the forged iron. Cop! Oh. There we go. Didn't feel like running away. And didn't feel like having him explode in this little room. Uh-oh. Take all that stuff. Let me, uh, reload the AK, but I'm gonna try and handle this with the club. Do a little open and shut. Ah, oh, they both got through. Damn it! Dead. Dead. Battery. Oh, shit, that's right. I was supposed to be going for batteries today. Um, alright, well, we'll cruise around Dyersville. And, uh, take apart some cars. Try and get our hands on a couple more batteries. Because last night, I crafted some electric fence posts and another, uh, battery bank. The battery bank, of course, to power the electric fence posts. That, and I installed it all last night, but, uh, I don't have any more batteries to power that bank. So, we need to pick some up today. Oh. Boom! We need to start getting some radiated zombies. I mean, we're at the point where nightmare zombies really aren't a threat anymore. Maybe radiated zombies would be. You know, feral zombies are still pretty tough. You know, feral nightmare zombies anyway. But still, we're at a point where it's not that big of a threat. Um, so you know what I was thinking about doing? Cranking up uh, the XP earned. Might as well max it out to, I think, 300% is the, the the highest it'll go. Uh, I didn't do it for this episode, obviously, but maybe starting in the next one, we'll do that. And obviously, all that's going to do is make it so we level up faster, and leveling up faster will bring um, tougher zombies and bigger hordes. So that'll uh, add to the challenge here, for sure. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know my series usually ends up to be around 30 to 40 episodes. And we're on episode 30 right now. And the reason is, a lot of people think, you know, I get bored. And that's part of it. To tell you the truth, I am kind of bored with Navisgain, the map. I am enjoying living at the house on the hill, though. And I love the way the base is coming. You know, I've got this vision for it that I want to finish. And I'm going to finish, no matter what happens. I mean, we could die right now from some freak accident. I'm still gonna do an episode where we finish the base and bring on the largest horde possible. Now, that could happen any day if we end up dying, or that could happen after episode 40, if I feel like it's time to wrap it up. Because you don't want to drag shit out for too long, you know? How long can you wring out a t-shirt? Eventually, it's- it's fucking dry, and you ain't getting any more water out of it. What the fuck is that guy doing? <laughs> what is it, girl? Is Timmy stuck down in the well? Should I search this? Something good in there? One piece of paper, Lassie, you fucking idiot. I better put her out of her misery. I don't think they killed Lassie. That's old Yeller that I'm thinking about. I don't know, I didn't watch Lassie. I'm not that old.
Here we are. Oh, the eye candy. Let's eat it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what I would want to do after this series in terms of Seven Days to Die, anyway. Um, but I do want to do another series. So we're doing Conan on Saturdays right now. And Grounded gets released this week. Full release. Tomorrow, actually, on Tuesday. So I'm thinking maybe this Friday we start a Grounded series. Because I only played that a little bit when it first released. And there wasn't that much content when it first released. There's a lot more now, obviously, that the game is going gold. So I thought we would do seven days on Monday and Wednesday. Grounded on Friday and Conan on Saturday. Um, and we'll continue to do Nightmare 2, obviously, until this is over. Because like I said, I don't know what I would do next. If I do, like, a sequel to a previous series, Carry On City Life, or do Cabin in the Woods 2, or do something completely different and new, maybe do another mod. There's a medieval mod, isn't there? That would be fun. Because I was like, oh, what if I built, like, a medieval castle and we did that? But why do that in vanilla if there is literally a medieval mod? So... I got to think about what we want to do with seven days after this series is over. But again, that's going to be the schedule for now. Seven days, seven days, grounded Conan. How about a battery as a reward? Iron Knuckles. Eh, we'll just sell those back to him. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Uh, mining helmet bundle, cloth armor, mini bike parts bundle. I bet you there's a battery in there. Plus the other parts we can sell. 500 cobblestone blocks is tempting, but... I'm going for the mini bike parts bundle. Let's uh, open that right now. Whoops. Don't drop it on the floor. Battery! Ah, oh, it's a level one, but it's a battery. And we'll sell the tires and the frame, which sell for uh, almost 500 coin. Here you go. Have this shit back. All right, then. So, tomorrow we can start Tier 3 jobs, then. I knew there was a full car up here. I mean, we have a level 2 and a level 1. That should be enough to power the electric fence posts. Bam! There's a third one. Now, that'll definitely be enough. Let's see what we got. Level six. All right. Looking good. Look at this prick. Get off my lawn. I finally evolved into the old guy that yells at people for walking on his lawn. I can check that off my bucket list. Dead. All right, let's go check out the G spot. I'll show you what I've done. Now, obviously, Phase 1 is working great. They haven't even gotten past Phase 1 yet. I'll probably let them in uh, on Night 35, though. Just let that thing chop them up a bunch, you know, see how long it takes them to break through there. And then they're stuck behind hatches all over again with dart traps shooting at them. So, Phase 2 is pretty much exactly like Phase 1, just more dart traps. And we got the blade trap again. Okay, so after this, uh, when they finally break through here which I think will take an awful long time, especially if we upgrade those hatches to vault hatches. We've got uh, an electric fence right here. So they're actually going to be getting electrocuted here while they're getting chopped up by the blade trap. So that's fun. Uh, and then they get electrocuted here and here and here and here. And I think uh, this is the switch. The second battery bank is right there. So we can turn that on with some batteries in there. Uh, let's do it. And then this switch turns on the electric fences. It works. That's good. Turn it off. And while they're getting electrocuted coming down these steps, we want to be getting some kills in. So I'll probably put something right here, whether it's hatches or bars or something, probably hatches, this way we can open them and get through and then close them again. And then I haven't put anything down the bridge yet. 
Uh, so that's it. We're looking pretty damn good. Um, and, and I'll tell you what, after all that talk before about ending this series, I'm definitely going to take this at least to night 40. I'm going to bump up the XP starting in the next episode to 300%, and we're going to take this to the night 40 horde and see how it goes. And then after that, we'll decide. Do we want to push it to night 50 and go 50 episodes, or do we want to just bring on, uh, you know, do a finale episode and bring on a tremendous horde and see how the house on the hill handles it. Um, not sure yet. But anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And again, I hope you are looking forward to seeing more. I got to get all this shit organized tonight and put away. And uh, get some more iron smelting down in the forge, obviously. Uh, let's actually do that right now. Um, the We need more lead. So I can make more bullet tips. Here we go. Let's just get these crafting and maybe we'll mine some lead in the next episode. And let's get the iron in here. I've made quite a few darts. So we're looking good on darts. We need to crank up our steel um, output though. So we can start getting all this shit upgraded to steel. Anyway, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching and all of the support on this series. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Nightmare 2, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.